Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Claire just finished a heated debate with this raccoon here uh, about the purpose of life and politics and some historical inaccuracies about a certain space raccoon. But that's all in the past now. I'm sorry I wasn't able to capture that conversation in time. It was really riveting. So for now, we are go getting out of this door. So I, uh, we have two special keys with us. I'm not sure if this is like really obvious right now, but we are back to the we are back in the police station, which I'm really happy with because I freaking love this the police station. Now this is Mr. Raccoon, he's one of the collectibles, I'm gonna ignore him. I do not want to... I'm not going to be able to collect all of them, all of him anyway. So I'd rather just not waste the ammo. So for the rest of the playthrough, we're just gonna have to indulge him. He does make a little bit of noise. This part of the PlayStation, we... We were blocked out before, so this is completely new. And like every time we come to a new place, we're just gonna explore everything, take everything that we can get. Behind this door, there's a blue herb. There's a monster here. I'm gonna ready my weapon. Where is it? I hear him. I hate hearing my enemies without seeing them. It's, it makes me feel very insecure. <laughs> oh, freaking fuck. What the hell is up with you? He's a zombie. That's what's up with him. Come on, Claire. Be professional. I hear another one. It's a cop. And the other guy is up too. This is just lovely. Jesus. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Stop! Don't swing your head so much, okay? Uh, close that door. <sighs> I'm gonna have to deal with this. I just picked up the flashbang. This is like so... So unprofessional, both of you. Auntie Claire is gonna have to teach you some... <laughs> Oh my god! <coughs> Son of a... Oh no! Oh man. Well, blow them... Blow, blow them both, please. Son of a bitch! See how many bullets they take? I trust you're both dead this time. Wow, that was a that was a resource. I don't know, sponge is that a proper word for it? I'd like to say bullet sponge, but we spent more than bullets. I don't know if this is too late to say, but my playthrough videos are mostly for recreational purposes. They are not intended to, nor are they suitable for 
tutorials on how this game should be performed. Honestly, I do believe this statement at this point is rather redundant. What the hell? Okay, sure, I'd like the knife. Apparently, I need it. Boxed electronic parts. Ah. Oh. Don't have any space. But I'm glad to see my health is still in the green zone. I expected it worse. There's another door here that we can open. So let's go do that. Hey, what's wrong? You gonna give me a reason why you're not open? Okay, we're doubling back. Uh, we might as well go back downstairs to deposit a few things we don't need immediately. Like that big ass wheel. So this large gear, rusty old gear, looks like it belongs to some machine. This definitely belongs to the clock tower which we are going at some point. I think uh, this is about, this looks about right. Hello there. We have with us boxed electronic part, a box containing electronic part. Maybe we can open this. Oh. <laughs> the whole box just for this, this little thing. But that's kind of how electronic packaging goes in real life, isn't it? So many times I just, uh, I usually just go out with my backpack. It's kind of like a student's backpack, even though I haven't been a student for years. Uh, it's just really, it's just convenient. I like doing that. However, uh, it is, uh, there are a lot of times I intend to get out to buy some kind of electronic devices. And I've don't prepare anything I think because my backpack usually covers everything that I need to carry uh, but every so often I buy these things that are totally supposed to be able to fit in my backpack but their packaging is just so atrociously redundantly huge that I end up having to carry them in my hand which is a complete pain in the ass because anything that doesn't fit in my backpack does definitely does not look good in my hand Okay, so this thing releases water. Come on, yeah, let's take a shower. We need it. The water isn't doing anything. We need to put out a fire here. Okay. Oh no. I'd like you to keep it down. For neighborhood's purposes. Oh, I don't know about this. Just get my herb. Maybe I should combine one with the blue. Get up. Yep, she got up. 
you asshole. It's not very nice, Claire. Claire? She could have been a perfectly contributing part of the society before she, you know, she turned into a zombie. Oh no! Jesus. I'm pretty much running out of handgun ammo. I hope that was enough. So this door is boarded. Okay. Damn it. I know a lot of people have put up advices that it's better to just uh, take out their legs. Because they're not, not that much of a threat if they're just uh, crawling around. But the truth is, it, it also takes a whole lot of ammo just to take out their knees. Oh, this would be handy. So we've diverted the pipes. Let's see if it works now. There we go. You're welcome! Hey, sir, are you alright? Oh, nobody's here. Um, I guess we're down here. Hey, look at that. Now we have a mixed herb, which looks a lot better than a mixed herb uh, in Resident Evil 1, by the way. Oh. Great. Jesus, stay back! Great. <laughs> We're running. We're running. That, ladies and gentlemen, is... A Mr. X, who's climbing the ladder now, by the way. How clever of him. How inconvenient for us. Uh, I gotta go the right way. He is right on our tail. And don't expect a... Shit! <laughs> I went the wrong way. This is like the exact mistake you must not make. We're gonna have to double round with him. Whew, go downstairs. Go to the safe room. He does not go into the safe room. Jesus. What, what am I doing? Getting here. Uh, actually. Let's clear our head a little bit. Uh, that is a tyrant. The kind, kind of like the tyrant that Jill took out at the end of Resi One, but I, I believe it's an updated version. For one thing, the uh, for one thing, the the uh, the tyrant that Jill took out at the end of last game did not have like trench coat and a hat. It didn't have that kind of style, and it didn't follow Jill all around the Spencer Mansion. I wouldn't even want to play that game if if that happened. And the Mr. X is going to follow us for quite some time, everywhere in the in, in the police station, except for a few selected safe places, such as right here and the rest of the safe houses. Not including the main hall where, where there's also a box and a typewriter. But of course it's going to have it's going to cross the main hall. Basically we need to be really careful. And Mr. X is like is an excellent addition to this game by the way. He's a huge reason why this game is as popular as it is. 
I actually I don't know too much about uh, Mr. X's extent of experience uh, uh, appearance in the original Resident Evil 2. So, if any of you are more familiar on this topic, uh, please let me know in the comments. So, uh, because I'm really curious, like you see, I know I can Google this, but I'd rather hear from you guys. Like, how big is Mr. X in the original RE2? Is he even like the same character? Because I know there is a Mr. X back there. Put the electronic part here. Um, I think we need something more. Maybe we need another part. Yes, I think there's still a part missing. We'll just have to come back. So I'm not gonna bother shooting him. I mean, you can kind of, if you shoot him uh, multiple times, he will probably like take a knee, but that's the most you can, that's the most damage you can do to him and it's not going to be enough. You buy yourself seconds with a precious ammo that you can do or you can make use of otherwise. Uh, so the, really the biggest, the biggest impact of his presence is that we really need to be careful in planning everything out. From now on, there's like no telling where he will be, but if we make too much of a noise, like if we run around, he's going to appear behind our ass. And that is not a pleasant thought. <sighs> what do I have though? What do I have so right now? Well, I can go into some of the Maybe some of the rooms. Huh. I'm actually not sure how where how many of these rooms are openable with the with the keys that we have. We're still missing the crank. I actually have I we still need to figure out where what is downstairs of this. Okay, no panicking. If he's still around we'll just have to get back here. That's all. We'll be safe. We we're totally okay. Just for this guy. Okay, if he gets in, we're gonna have to shoot him, and Mr. X is gonna ha gonna come back. From this moment on, and until such time when it. That when it may not be the issue anymore. Oh, Mr. X is going to be a major concern for every decision we make. And I'm afraid the game is going to, well, simultaneously s speed up and slow down, if that makes any sense. So I will not go any faster than this. But we're gonna have to make things happen as soon as possible. Uh, board for you. Look at every corner. Actually, I don't hear his footsteps, so we're probably good. Because the way this game is designed, you can 
hear his footsteps pretty much everywhere. Is this something I should be able to read? <sighs> Somebody's read or wrote, let me out on this mirror. I think like in the uh, original RE2, is this supposed to be a magic mirror or something? Because I, when there's a mirror, there's probably something that's going to jump out of it. Be ready. Okay, nothing jump out of it yet. I don't trust anything. Uh, jewelry box. Well, we're pretty used to this kind of thing now, aren't we? Jewels adorn the top of this beautiful box. There seems to be something inside. Okay, uh, we do have a red jewel. Uh, something is definitely jumping out of this. I don't trust it. I fucking knew it! I fucking knew- uh, This is kind of the old fashioned way of equipping things. Just, just, I'm kind of nervous right now. Okay, apparently a the shot right to the head works as magic. Oh no! So what, that just inconvenienced him a little bit? Are you kidding me? Oh shit. I don't know if Mr. X can actually get into this room. Maybe he can. Oh, don't Jill. I wouldn't advise hopping over this ledge like that when there are like broken glasses everywhere. Oh, this guy. No more space. He was reaching for something. He was reaching for these two files. Like what? You sure those are really important right now? Some old computers, transmitters, uh, radios. Uh, I hear his footsteps. But I don't think I can get into this door. Like I would actually welcome uh, welcome him with open arms if he can open this door. Because we don't have the key. This is the last key that we need to get. And so... Pretty much this means we are stuck here. Oh, something else. Confiscation report. Location RPD, uh, second floor waiting room. Reason for confiscation. A suspicious man was found at the location listed above. The waiting room? When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. Remarks. It's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hansen, age 39, city, pre city resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad, type per se, bad guy per se, just a bit of a bird brain kleptomaniac. Can't believe he tried to put a fast one in a police station, of all places though. Uh, there's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. Yeah, that is gonna be the combination of the, of the safe in the waiting room. We're gonna go get it. <sighs> Creepy. I'm gonna go check out if there's anything in the cabinets here. Sure enough. Hey, that means we get an extra space. This is nothing but good news. What happens if Mr. X comes out now? Save your breath. I really want to go be back in the safe room for whatever reason. Sounds really close. F 
fuck it, I'm making a break for it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, my controller lost control. This is the worst timing ever! We good? DualShock 4? We good? We cool? Okay, get the fuck inside the door! Right now! I'm gonna have a heart attack. This is it. This is the end of me. You're gonna If I die here somebody upload this video to YouTube because I think at least if I, if I die While while playing the game somebody probably might actually click on the video Well, that was a heart-stopping moment You know one of the th reasons I I like to record these playthroughs regardless if if there's any anyone really watching it's because I really want to document these moments such as when you controller fails you at the most critical moment you know memories to live with stars badge that sounds lovely uh, special badge for RPD Special Forces Division Stars. Ooh, look at that. It's actually a USB dongle key. A badge-shaped uh, USB dongle key. Is the... Okay, that doesn't really make sense, but we know where to use it. I Judge me if you want. I'm, I'm saving the game again. Fuck this. This is not good for my health, either physically or mentally, or just in general, because I can still hear him. Okay, he's not present, but we hear him so goddamn clearly. Oh, that's because he's like right fucking here. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, once you know the trick, he's uh, kind of adorable. Oh, I really want to take that shot. So now, like I said, we need a plan. We need to. The, the only way we can get out of here is. Probably through the place where we met him first time. It's gonna be a bit of a problem if he keeps hanging around here. I just wait should I just wait for a better time because like I don't know where he is his AI is really special he he is very perceptive and he's also kind of random and he, it feels like he's everywhere I mean he's just one guy He's just one guy in a big ass police station. You're just another guy in the, in the same station. But this is a big place. It's you can you can never see very far in in the police station. So technically you're kind of safe, but somehow he makes you feel like he's omnipresent. Like one of the mo most uh, anticipated element in Resident Evil 3 is uh, Nemesis. And Nemesis is this classic... What am I doing here? No, I should uh, go back. We cannot afford to... We cannot afford to go to the wrong place anymore. That's going to be a taboo from now on. 
Well, Nemesis is this classic Resident Evil villain, right? Like, everybody knows Nemesis. Even the people who don't play Resident Evil. Like, I have never really played Resident Evil 3, the original one. But I know Nemesis. And Nemesis is this quintessential Resident Evil villain. Hey, this is where I met Mr. X for the first time. He looks so strong. What the shit? Where is he? He's not around the corner. I mean, that that's just an illusion. He's not actually here. He's actually here. Fuck me. Well, Mr. X, this just isn't gonna work. You know what? Fuck this. We're not gonna stay cowering in one place. Well, he bullies us all around. That is not how this goes. I'm Claire fucking Redfield. And I say we play the game my way. Okay, this is as far as I my plan went. Where else do we go? Oh, the waiting room. Oh, that's a good idea. Is this this way? Yes, this this way. We actually uh, have a bit of a task in the waiting room. Uh, quick. We need to be really quick about this. Confiscation report. Go, go, go. Left 6, right 2, left 11. Uh, wait. Left 6, right 2. Oh, shit. Um, left 6, right 2, left 11. <laughs> okay, left six, right two, left eleven. Please work. Oh, that's uh, what is it? High capacity mag, a custom part of the whatever that is. That extends clip capacity. So, oh, I think uh, it belongs with this one. Fine. Yes, JMB HP three. I'll spare the technicals and uh, just to go with it. I don't know if he's still following me, actually. I'm gonna assume he is. So, how's Marvin doing? Oh, Marvin's right there. Hey, Marv! Lucas back. I brought a friend, actually. We are... Well, he, he, he is a chaser, but I'm not quite sure about him yet. Because have you seen Leon? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God, no. Marvin. I'm gonna go. If you don't mind very much, Marvin. Because I, I, I don't like to see him this way. Okay, where the shit am I going? We need to concentrate on places that we couldn't get into before. Put him out of his misery. No? Really? Fuck. Marvin is a tough son of a bitch. That made a lot of noise. Uh, he's coming. I'm just gonna slip through this door. Maybe he doesn't see me. He definitely sees me. That means he's on his way. I need to get the fuck out of here. You hear that music? That is uh, Mr. X chasing you music. That is not a good music you want to hear right now. Oh, and that is not a good sound effect you want to hear right now. I'm... Gonna go this way. Oh! I'm 
so fucked, I can't even describe it. A tool. Right. Tool is nice. Oh, he's right here. Okay, we're going. Equip this, discard this. Yes, please. Run and reload at the same time, Claire. I thought I had told you that. Go, 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 go. Oh, I missed you. By the way. Suck it, Mr. X! How's, uh, how's our status? Caution? Caution is not the worst. We can deal with caution. Where else do we want to go now? Um, we should uh, take the dongle key to the star's office. Oh, that's definitely one of the places we need to go. I'm getting a little concerned over the survivability of this whole thing. But it's obviously idiotic to take everything with you at this point. Because they take way too much space. Hmm... So I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna leave this behind. I'm gonna leave this behind. I we have one acid ammo in the sh uh, in uh, in the barrel right now, and we have flame ammo for spare. Whether it be uh, the worst we can face at this point are, are liquors, right? Because Mr. X. As threatening and as scary as he absolutely is, we won't actually waste ammo on the guy. That is his one redeeming quality, because it doesn't do anything for him anyway. Uh, we have mostly still using shotgun, uh, I mean the, the handgun for common zombies. And if I remember this right, you gotta go upstairs for the star's office. It sounds like the liquor is still here. Well, it matters little because we are not going to make too much noise anyway with Mr. X somewhere here. Shut up, zombie at the window. So, let me remind me where the star's office is. Oh, okay, we are at the level. What? Well, at least I don't hear footsteps, and uh, beyond this door is where we met the liquor for the first time. So I I don't remember if we took... did we take care of that liquor? Nope, we did not. Uh, same tactic, we are being... Ex we're, we're not going to attract attention. Especially now we have a new kid on the block. No sudden movements. I mean, there's still a chance Mr. X can just uh, patrol into this room. For, like, no better reason than being a nuisance. Oh, 
always can use more health items. And down go Kigo. And it has the earphone plug and everything. Kind of cute. We mostly just use one plug now. Oh, that's loud! Ah, everything's loud! Let's see what this is. Letter to stars members. To my bestest stars buds. How are you all doing in that drab old station hanging there against old irons? Me? I just got back from a date with a hot chick. Bet you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is no, no way enough to e even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry, yeah? So you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield, August 29th. This does not sound like Chris. <laughs> oh, it does not. Uh, it's probably... Either a cold or just straight up not him. I'm actually not quite sure what the deal is. So we got... What did we just get? An MQ-11. A 24 run capacity or something submachine gun. With an extremely high rate of fire usually used for spraying an area with bullets. Cool. I'm sure we'll find a use for it. Oh! Uh, we can get the dongle key back. Actually, its its mission is not completely fulfilled. And there we have completed the star's office. Uh, this leaves the question: Where do we go next? Oh, we've never even went to the linen room. Why not? Are you shitting me? Is this game like purposely trying to fuck with me? I, I sometimes think so and I know that's a little paranoid thing to say. But look at the circumstances. Look at the mounting evidence of that hypothesis. Oh, this is why we didn't bother with it. But you know what? We're got, we can bother with it now. I actually hope this is the last time we'll be using this key. Because I want the extra space. No, it's not. Um, okay, I'll take you, I guess. Oh, no. I'd rather have taken this thing. Oh, shoot. we we'll just have to come back for it. Which sucks. Because right now I don't want to come back for shit. Mm. So I trust the library is undisturbed. I made a point to kill every single of these motherfuckers in the library. Is that Mr. Mr. X coming this way? Or am I just being par- Or is he coming this way? He's coming in one of these ways. Or if there's a silent way to take out a zombie, I would explore that so hard. Well, now we're kind of stuck here. We got a zombie in this door, a liquor in this door, Mr. X, not sure which door he's gonna pop out. 
from, but he's gonna sooner or later. And I think this is the tool to use the library. I'm gonna have to. Where'd the guy go? And I prepared for this, and this still happened. Okay. We uh, have limited time here, so to speak. So we best fucking get a move on. This shouldn't even be needed, but for gaming reasons, it does. Are you shitting me? Is that a zombie I hear? Fuck this. Well, you're welcome to try the ladder. Mr. X coming this way, but I bet he's not here because I... Okay. Um, I bet he doesn't know I'm here. And there's the clock tower right in front of me. And I don't think he can get into the clock tower. That, that, because there's that's the, where the mission is going to be. Well, it, it appears that I won't be able to get into the clock tower either. Okay, that just happened. Oh, I didn't take the the, the wheel thing, so I, I can't even be here. Repair plan. Well, we need we we got stuff to do anyway. Location: police station, west side clock tower. Due to the high cultural value of the bell, I'm calling a specialist to uh, in to make the repairs. We'll go over the details once they're on the scene, but in the meantime, I'll take steps to secure the bell since the yoke is threatening to break. I'm going to take this time where I can't really do anything to actually take care of the zombie outside. Oh, no. Maybe later. Just, if my fury is correct, he's not going to be able to get in here. I am literally betting my whole life on it. Yeah, he's leaving. He's a gentleman. He knows his limits. Jesus. really feel like we're tempting our fate here. gonna come back well I have a few extra spaces let's just uh, explore this place we can't really complete the puzzle right at this point 
Let's see if there's anything we can take away. Oh, you can hear him just beyond this wall. But at least we're safe inside. There's really no story reason, I think, about why he can't get into s certain places. I've heard a version, I don't think it's official, it, and that's be it since it's because they programmed him to not go into certain places. And those are the places where, you know, people like Albert Wesker, Chief Irons, these assholes, where they will be able to hide. Wow, they must activate Mr. X to do a complete cleanse in the PlayStation. I, I guess that kind of makes sense. But it also kind of doesn't. Because I, I, if you can program a tyrant that way, can't you just like have program some facial recognition? Like, just ask him not to kill you. That's all it takes. Because honestly, just... Just thinking that you sh you can be safe while hiding in, in some doors is still a huge risk. And Wesker knows all about the risks pertaining to releasing a tyrant, doesn't he? And yep, I think everything else is uh, puzzle related items. Where is he? Oh, are you kidding me? I'm taking this. Oh, this, that's his hat. I knocked his hat off. And he has my knife. Thank you. I'd like that back. Oh shit, he's right there. The music is not up, so I don't think he sees me. Maybe I can just stay hidden. He's stopping, so I'm assuming he's like... He is coming this way. Do I have a door in front of me? Yes, there is a door. It's uh, it's kind of closed. Oh, but it can be open. Thank God. Open it. Run. Um, where the hell am I? Wait. Downstairs the. Downstairs the safe room. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. I don't know how long I can take this. I'm gonna stop it today. And next episode, when we come back, we deal with this clock tower. And Hopefully, once the, that is done, we go back to the basement and find, figure out a way to open the door at the car park, so we can go after go after Sherry. That has been our main goal. We haven't really thought about Sherry for this entire hour. Oh, God, this is extremely stressful. It sounds like he just opened a door, but he doesn't. He cannot. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to stay in this safe house for as long as humanly possible. And I'll see you next time. And I'll try to look forward to that. Goodbye.